Today we're talking about film distribution companies and sales agents and how to try to negotiate MGs. An MG is a minimum guarantee. It's, it's also be called an advance on the film. It's money that they give you up front that that company is going to have to recoup and uh, before then you start sharing in the, the profits of the film. And so it kind of is it's a good thing to go for in general because it kind of shows that the sales company or the dis distribution company has faith in your film that at least it's going to make this and they're going to make more than that because they obviously have to make more than that to be able to recoup. Um, look, there's a key and, and, and obviously those who know me know that I also own a film sales and distribution company and there are films that we don't give MGs for because it is definitely a question mark and we've taken films where we just went, it, we don't know, we don't know how this film's going to do because it's not cast driven. If it doesn't have sellable cast, it's always a question mark. And uh, sometimes we've taken those films and they've made uh, just fantastic revenue results and sometimes they didn't do well at all. So. If uh, a lot of times if a, if a company is not giving you an MG, it doesn't mean they don't believe in your film. It just means that maybe they don't know exactly how it's going to do in the marketplace. There were movies that I thought were incredible that didn't do anywhere near what I thought in the marketplace and movies where I thought was like, eh, and they just killed it as far as revenues go. So, uh, but now we're talking about negotiating an MG and how to negotiate an MG. Well, first is be realistic. You're, you know, these, these days of the multi-million dollar MGs are long gone. You have to kind of look and see what's uh, out there and be realistic. Uh, at the end of the day, is the sales and distribution company going to give you some profit at, after that? Or is the MG the only payment you're going to see? You know, you might think, oh, it's great. I got a $100,000 MG. My movie got 500000 I'm well on my way. It's like, you may only get that. They may be negative for the rest of the film. And that's a mistake, right? Versus somebody that give you no MG and immediately start sharing in the profits. And then you're making two, three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 off of that, right? So... Uh, be realistic is one thing. Second thing is just start to try to field multiple offers. If you can get multiple offers, then you can see where people are coming in. If they're all coming in and say five figures, you know, under hundred thousand dollars, that's probably you know you're not going to get somebody just randomly coming in and being like, we're going to give you a five million for it, you know. So be realistic. Note that the numbers have dropped, but ultimately you just want to try to get the highest possible um, up front. But also know and, and have a good feeling that you will get back end after that. You don't want to get paid once, no matter what that, unless it's a buyout, unless it's a complete buyout. They give you, you know, somehow you get a million dollars. You made the film for half a million dollars. Fantastic. If you can do that, that's great. So you don't have to worry about the back end after that. But if it's anything less than that, it's a percentage of your budget. You really have to do some research on the sales agent or distributor by asking around, asking other producers uh, that have worked with them, kind of go to IMDb, find other producers that have worked with that company and say, how'd you do with this film? And so you'll get an idea if there'll be any other payment after the initial advance.